Sasha the baddest. Mood is a highly relevant, really important show to be around now. The story for Mood came about from a play that I wrote called Super Ho. Mood is about a young woman called Sasha. She's from the East End of London and she is a wannabe singer-songwriter. I'm ready. She's quite troubled, running away from her past and she falls out with her family and ends up sofa surfing where she meets a party girl called Carly and she leads her into a world of social media influencing, partying and online sex work. And it's a story with a lot of heart, humour and goes to some really dark places, but it's a lot of fun. And it's got these amazing musical numbers in it. Charge it, I'm a start shit. Hey, charge me up, she's a boss bitch. Sasha is feisty. No, I'm not smoking, thank you very much. Funny, but there's this facade that she kind of has built around herself to protect herself. And I think a lot of people will relate to Sasha. She's ambitious, but she doesn't have anybody to kind of support her. She's kind of finding her own way in life. I am just trying to live my truth. We got really lucky with the family. We have Smasher. Jessica Hines playing Laura, the mum. Her partner, so Sasha's stepdad, is Kevin, played by Paul Kay. Brilliant news. Kevin means well, but he is a phenomenally irritating man, and it's a pretty spectacular clash of personalities. Social media has convinced you that you're all going to be the next Lisa Stansfield. Her little sister, who is a thorn in Sasha's side, is played by Mia Jenkins. You're supposed to be in prison. The family is the driving force. I hate you! It's where she gets rejected by her mum, doesn't get on with her little sister, her stepdad, you know, really contentious family dynamic where her mum is fraught and caught in the middle. I know I made mistakes with your dad and Megan's dad, but I tried my best! Carly. She's played by Lara Peak. She's got this like fearlessness. I'm a devil, me. <laughs> but also at the same time, she's a victim and also, you know, a perpetrator to Sasha, really, because she knows what she's doing when she meets her and she essentially grooms her. And Carly is very manipulative, but I don't think she knows any other way to be. We could even do some videos together. Ebony and Ivory, baby. Nicole's a really fantastically sort of creative, passionate writer who is brilliantly and kind of entertainingly sort of exploring this area of social media and she's found a way of kind of dramatizing it. I've just got you a job with Juliana. £1,000 to go to a party. Mood is about being young and trying to find your way and also the awareness about the impact of social media where People's lives that seem kind of perfect lives are being presented to us all the time that's often in contrast with where we're at ourselves. <laughs> Lots of people will definitely relate to some of the obstacles and the challenges that Sasha has to face in life. Just be careful. The show has this kind of commentary on the darker side of social media and yet I'm doing press, I'm publicising the show on social media and I don't think Social media is like a terrible thing, but we're very aware of just, especially the pressures on young women to conform how you look, you know, filters, heavy comparison you can feel on social media. So I guess I feel like this show is a force for good. People should watch Mood because it's an absolutely roller coaster of a ride. If you like family drama, good character stories, music. Yeah. It's gonna be a show for everyone. Yeah, I'm on fire,